Hey guys, how are we doing today? Hopefully we're doing pretty good. Uh, in today's illustration, I'm going to be showing you how to do this Munster chapstick holder. I did this basically yesterday within a matter of not even an hour. <laughs> uh, it took me um, a very little time and effort. Uh, it was a really fun, easy project to do. Uh, I um, actually didn't even uh, have the chapstick to put in it. So... <laughs> Uh, just so you know, it does fit. Uh, the chapstick that I had used, uh, it was uh, my uh, mother-in-law. She had it in her room. So I took and put it in there, and it worked slide on perfectly. So just so you know. Otherwise, it's a really fun, easy thing to do. Uh, something you want to do uh, real quick like. Uh, Last-minute idea. Uh, it uh, doesn't require a whole lot. Hopefully you'll have a good majority of the items on hand. If not, uh, there's always uh, other solutions to uh, create this really little cre uh, cute masterpiece. Uh, like for instance, the wiggly eyes, you could easily crochet them, depending on how uh, well uh, you're able to crochet. Uh, otherwise, the same thing for the tooth and uh, the one line of the mouth. Otherwise, what I used was this pretty um, gold color, but it was in basic mainstay yarn, weight four. But today I'm going to be using this green. I also have this super adhesive fabric glue. You can pick that up at uh, any Walmart, which is basically where I had gotten it. Uh, this this glue is the bomb. It's the uh, <laughs> I have used it on a lot of my makes uh, for um, crocheting, and um, it it worked perfectly. I haven't had any you know bad comments in the process. Otherwise, you'll need a pair of scissors. You'll need some felt if you have any felt on hand. Instead of having to crochet this, you could use felt. Even the uh, wiggly eyes, if you don't have them on hand, if you have some felt, you can use that in place of it. That's entirely up to you. If not, uh, if you have wiggly eyes, which you can pick them up anywhere. I got these over at uh, Dollar Tree. They come in different sizes, or you can have them selected in a specific size. However, today's illustration, I'm going to probably use this bigger eye and have it be a one-eyed monster. Otherwise, of course, this right here, the felt itself, uh, you can pick it up at Walmart. It's uh, really cheap. I think it's uh, 23 cents, if I'm not mistaken. So basically a quarter, and you get a whole sheet of it. Uh, of course, right now it's, uh, it's really small. I went ahead and cut the sizes, so it saves me time for this project. A pair of scissors and a yarn needle, of course, is what you'll need. And then the hook size, it is uh, 3.75. F. Go ahead and do a slip knot right over your hook. Okay, and I will be right back in one second. Okay, before I forget, I don't think I re uh, recall saying this, but you also have the uh, keychain ring that basically, if you have an extra one on your keychains themselves, otherwise, you can pick this up also at Walmart. Okay, without further ado, we will go ahead and do a slip knot over your hook. Okay, once we have that slip knot over the hook, we'll go ahead and do a chain two. Then in that second chain, we'll go ahead and do three single crochets. I like doing the chain two method instead of doing a magic circle. It seems to work a lot better for me. I don't know about anyone else, but if you feel free, you can do so. Do the magic circle. That'll be a chain four, and then you do a slip stitch into the first chain, and there's your magic circle. But I prefer doing this. Okay, we'll go ahead and do a slip stitch into the first single crochet. Next, we'll go ahead and do two single crochets in each of the stitches. So that'll be a total of six single crochet in this round. In each of your rounds you're not going to do a chain one, you're just going to do a basic uh, continuous round. 
we want it to fit you know nicely onto the uh, chapstick itself we don't want it to be too loose then take a chance on it sliding out even though there is velcro which is something that I forgot to mention that we'll need for this project uh, if you want you can easily do a few chains and then do a little loop and have it to where you can do a button there's always that option if you have buttons on hand alright the next round we're gonna go ahead and do one single crochet in the first stitch if I can get it to cooperate that would be really good I tell you these metal hooks tend to give us a hard time okay in the next stitch we'll go ahead and we'll do two single crochets and in the next we'll do one Oops. In the next we'll do two and we'll repeat this process until we have nine single crochets all together. Okay in this next round we're going to do the front loop only and we're going to do a single crochet in each of the stitches. Okay, in the next round we're going to do a single crochet in each of the stitches but in this time we're going to do it in both loops. Okay, I know it's really tight but that's a good thing. Okay, be sure that we do both loops and that we do a single crochet in each of the stitches. So there'd be a total of nine single crochets. Okay, as you can see here, it's starting to go up, so don't, don't stress over it. That's why we did the front loops only, because we want it to start going up. Because we want it to go up the actual chapstick. Oops, just like this one right here. Next, we're going to go ahead and do, for the next five rows, we're going to do a single crochet in each of the stitches. Now once you're done doing that, we'll get right back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, I wanted to pop in and see how you're doing. I'm fixing to do out of the five rounds, this is my third round that I'm going into. What I do is I simply took it and did it inside out. I don't like showing or fooling around with that one little string every time I do my rounds. It is so annoying to have to keep trying to tuck it, it just gets in the way. So I just simply take and Put it inside out, tuck in the end, and then start going and having it on my finger so this way it help, keeps guides me and it doesn't uh, you know, start shrinking because I'm not paying attention to where I go into my next stitch. That is just a tip for today. If you would like to keep that, that's entirely up to you. Uh, please uh, write in the comments down below to let me know if you feel that this is a really cool uh, project to do and also if it helped any my little tips that I show every now and then I greatly appreciate it also subscribe to my channel and like it be sure to uh, tap the bell so you'll be able to get notifications on every time I uh, start previewing my different makes I would greatly appreciate it also you can sign up for my uh, email uh, so this way you can um, conversate with me personally uh, it's Melinda's Designs at yahoo.com the first letter M is a capital, otherwise everything else is lowercase. Be sure to write at Yahoo, Y-A-H-O-O-O. -O -O. Actually, there's only two O's, dot com. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise, we'll continue by doing our rounds. We get a total of three more rounds to do. Okay, I'm done doing those rounds that we just previously discussed it. Um, unfortunately, though, it is a little bit too short. As you can see here, we still got to do four more rounds. And the reason being I stopped at what we did is because I wanted to make sure that we were on the right track. Okay, right now we are inch all together in length. 
and as you can see right here it's a total of two inches now basically on the size of the actual chapstick itself is basically how you need to adjust the length of how far up you need to go I just wanted to make sure that I really make a strong point on that because of that reason because each lipstick chapstick whatever it is that you're wanting to put in this holder uh, is each different in size so please keep that in mind okay we'll continue by doing the four more rounds and I will get right back to you okay we're getting very close to the end so I thought I would pop back in now I don't know about you but I like to be able to control the tension on the actual yarn itself so I just simply slide it over my finger and then I control it with my other fingers just be sure that when you're doing it this way if you do do it this way that you twist the actual hook because sometimes it wants to come off because it's so slippery it just wants to slide off <laughs> yeah. okay for all the, any of you that uh, don't no, uh, you can to uh, if you want um, subs not subscribe but follow me on my blog which is uh, creations by Melinda dot blogspot dot com and in there I share a lot of these free patterns that I create okay let's see if we are done here it appears that we may be done so we'll go ahead and make double sure yes we are done it is two inches in length which is basically what we need and then down here at the bottom it is basically three-fourths of an inch in circumference okay once we are done we're gonna go ahead and do the actual strap that goes over the top of the chapstick lipstick whatever you want to use it for okay all you do is go into the next three stitches and do a single crochet two three chain one turn your work and then go back and do another single crochet in each of the stitches which will be a three single crochet total chain one turn your work do another single crochet in each of the stitches now I know there's plenty of other patterns out there available to you and I totally get it but the one that I feel that this one's a little bit different from the others is that uh, it is Munster. <laughs> so it'd be a little bit, I think it's, you know, a little bit different than the others. And if you don't mind, whenever you do do this pattern, if you can either simply write in the comments down below how well it came out you know whether you had a difficult time or whatever the case may be if it wasn't understandable I get that too um, sometimes uh, I don't talk loud enough or you know what have you or it's clear enough okay right now we're halfway through looks like we have another four more rows to do just continually by doing a chain one and doing a single crochet and turning our work now unfortunately I didn't bring out the velcro that I have but basically I got it from wish I don't know if any of you shop at that uh, app but I do occasionally uh, I just like to find these little neat little things and they're inexpensive so I went you know of course I got it from there I actually got it for free just had to pay shipping which I think was a dollar so of course you know it didn't cost me much I believe this is my third round that I'm doing right now but I will make sure that this is in length you know long enough here in a second 
Let me go ahead and do this last row. Now the Velcro that I was talking about, uh, it just comes in a roll. Uh, what I did was I just basically cut the piece of the desire that I wanted and peeled the back. It has, it's already uh, glued, you know, where it's special to just put on. And because of it being yarn, of course it's going to work even better. It's going to stick irregardless. What I did was is I took that super adhesive glue and I just added a little bit more to keep it on there securely because, you know, with you taking it off and on, off and on, off and on, it's going to, you know, eventually it's not going to stick on correctly. Okay, I believe that was the last row. I just got carried away in talking. But let me go ahead and take out the hook and we'll see. Okay, it appears we did one row short, so we'll go ahead and do one more row. Then we'll do a slip stitch, and then we'll leave a little bit just so we can weave in the ends. Now, unfortunately, in this illustration, I didn't think it all the way through, but I didn't bring um, the Velcro. Okay, do a slip knot or a slip, yeah, a slip stitch, and then do a little bit of a length so we can sew it in. Okay, we'll sew in the ends, and I'll be right back. All right, our next step, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the eye, secure the eye on there. Now, I believe I had said where I got it in the beginning that was at Dollar Tree, uh, just for a dollar. Hey, psh, who who can knock that? Um, this, unfortunately, does have an odor, but once it dries, it, uh, the, the, of course, the odor goes away. So just simply apply all the glue, however much or less you're wanting to put on. And then just simply place it wherever it is that you're wanting to place it, which in my case, I'm just going to put right here. Just make sure that when you do do it, you put it in on this side of the actual holder. Because it will just look better. To me it does anyways. Alright, now next we're going to go ahead and take a piece of felt uh, in black. And we'll just simply uh, cut a shape into a smile. Which, in my case, I, you know, I didn't do it perfectly. So if it happens that way for you also, don't sweat it because, you know, it's just have fun. I'm always about having fun and that's all that matters, you know what I mean? Just do the best you can and that's all. Ahead, and we're going to simply apply the smile for the actual monster itself. Just put a little bit of glue on there. I went ahead and cut a little triangle out of the white felt. You can place it anywhere that you want to. I'm just going to place mine right in the center. Just be creative. Have fun. Okay, in the next, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to place this ring onto this. Okay, all I do is just simply insert the hook up here in the front, and then I did a slip knot, placed it over the hook, and I'm going to go ahead and do a slip stitch. Then I'm going to do a chain one to seal it a little bit. Okay, now after that, we'll go ahead and we'll take this ring, and we'll go ahead and do a single crochet in the ring itself. Just place it in the ring, yarn over, and then pull it through. It's going to be a little tedious, but just have patience. Pull it through the hole. See? There we go. Now we'll go ahead. I shouldn't have pulled it all the way through, but just give me a second. Yarn over, and then pull it through to make that single crochet. Okay, we'll do it again. Go inside the ring itself. Pull the yarn through up there. See it's two loops on the hook. 
yarn over and pull through the two loops. I'm going to go ahead and do a slip stitch to kind of securely it in there. Simply just cut a little tail so you can go ahead and hand sew it in. And I will be right back and show you the end product. Okay, once you're done weaving in the ends, this is on there pretty good. Uh, if you don't want it to be way over there, you can situate it here, or if you want to put it in the back, that's entirely up to you. Just make sure that you do two single crochets on the actual ring so to make it so it'll stay. All right. Um, unfortunately, though, I don't have the Velcro, so I can't show you how to place it on there. But uh, just hopefully, um, you know, take my word for it. Again, if you don't want to have Velcro, you can simply place a actual button itself. Uh, there's always that option. Uh, just simply, you know, of course, you know, if anything, you could place little loops over it and then just slide it over the button. All right. Thank you so much for dropping by. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel uh, and make sure you touch the bell so this way you're alerted for every time I come on. Thank you so much for your time and patience and also uh, your uh, gratitude. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Bye-bye.